hi guys so if you're looking into a becoming an ultrasound tech then you're in the right place in today's video i will be talking about how to become an ultrasound tech i will be talking about what credentials you need what you need to get into the program what you need to do while you're at the program how many years how it's how it is after you graduate what licenses you need what boards how everything works so let's get started so first in order to get into the program you have to take some prereqs that you do a regular college or the college that you are looking into doing your program once you do those electives you need to have a certain gpa that you need to call the school that you're looking into because every school has a different gpa requirement so always ask that before taking the electives because you will want to do what's best for your grades and what's best for that gpa so in order to finances ultrasound school is very expensive you want to go to an ultrasound school that the program is accredited you can ask if the school is accredited. A school could be accredited, but not the program. If the program is not accredited, you could still graduate and you could still become an ultrasound tech, but you will have to do another exam. What I did is that I went to an accredited school and everything was just the process was a lot easier because once that i graduated i already graduated with my board and my school paid for two boards every school has a different amount of the cost of the program itself you always have to ask and you should be able to get financial aid if it's your first so when it comes to boards boards the first board that you need to take is a physics which is called the spi the spi is the physics of ultrasound and you need to pass that exam before taking the the regular boards for your licenses so how it works in the school that i went to we took that class as our second class um, right after the class the school paid for the exam the school that I went to gave you three chances to pass that exam if you don't pass this exams please don't get discouraged you can do it every single exam is extremely hard very difficult but you will do it you just need to study as hard as you can after you pass the SBI in my school you you know you did your whole entire course and at the end when you're about to graduate you take the board to get your license so we have different licenses for each thing that we do for example for breast there's a license for OBGYN there's a license for abdomen there's a license for anything it's a different license the first two licenses that you could take that the school pays for like i said the one that i went to you should always ask when you're signing up for the for the course but the ones that they paid for was either OBGYN or abdomen i chose to do abdomen because abdomen is a lot harder and it's just something that you want to get out of the way in order to get hired in a place you do have to have at least one license there are some hospitals and some places that do require a vascular license plus either OBGYN or abdomen. I would not suggest getting breast as your first license because breast is not something that you do everywhere. Whereas if you do OBGYN or abdomen, you could basically work anywhere because you do those exams anywhere. But don't make the rookie mistake of thinking that ultrasound is just scanning babies all day no we have so many different exams that we do daily like like i said just like the licenses breast thyroid abdomen vascular anything we do a lot of studies a day and 
in my sight we didn't even do ob so don't think that ultrasound is just scanning babies all day ultrasound is actually very hard it's something that you have to learn you have to learn all the pathology because you are what's looking at the pathologies and you are gonna describe it to the doctor you're not just there to take some images you're there to tell the doctor what you are seeing and the doctor from what you are seeing is gonna diagnose your patient so if you are looking into an easy option to get a good amount of money that is not ultrasound ultrasound is not an easy way out okay so let's talk about pay so the pay in hospitals is a lot more than a diagnostic center you could work at a clinic a diagnostic center and you will probably not get paid as much as you would get in a hospital so if you work for a diagnostic center in a hospital then that is different although even if you work at a diagnostic for a hospital if you work at the hospital the pay might be better because they do have overnight shifts which are paid with a differential a hospital has harder cases than a diagnostic even though the diagnostics have longer protocols so what you will do at a hospital you have to do more detailed at a diagnostic there's more pictures a longer protocol and less time a hospital you don't have to count on time because you don't have appointments at a diagnostic you have appointments every day for 30 minutes that you have to follow and if you get delayed you have to figure it out so you don't want to get delayed but you also don't want to do a whatever job so you always have to count on that so sometimes hospitals are a little bit more easygoing sometimes hospitals are a lot more intense than a diagnostic center it all depends on the date that you are doing it. okay so when you are in school you will be doing clinicals how clinicals work is that you basically are working for free you you shadow an ultrasound tech and they teach you how things are done right now i do have a student with me um uh, but she already passed her board so she's just getting her last experience before going into work Clinicals is what really prepares you for real life because in school you just scan your classmates and you don't really get that outside experience. So you should always do at least one rotation at a hospital and one at a diagnostic. They will rotate through different places so that you get to see different things. It's not in every place you do certain exams. So as an ultrasound tech, even if you work at the hospital, you don't lift the patients, you don't, you're not supposed to, at least, you don't clean them up, just the gel, you clean up the gel, but you don't clean up their messes or anything like that, that will be a nurse who does that. Of course, in hospitals, everything is a lot harder with the patients because they could be unconscious. So if they are unconscious, then you do have to, you know, pull them to the side but you are not supposed to lift because that could hurt you physically it's not ergonomically correctly so for the pay rate don't ever accept anything under 25 dollars and that's if you are just graduated recent graduates don't have experience so no place is really gonna pay you over 30 but do not accept anything under 25 because you do have a license and you are the one that is showing the doctor the pathology that they will diagnose the patient with so don't ever accept anything under 25 dollars and only if you are a brand new graduate and that is it guys if you have any questions please comment them down below and i will be more than happy to answer them if you have any Thing that you want to know okay so thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe